I guess it helps if I turn it on. Oh, I hate gravel. I hate gravel. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. All I'm right. Ready. All right, let's do it. I hate gravel. Have I ever said that? <laughs> once or twice. Yeah. Once or once or two thousand times. You got some potholes on this left track. All right. Hey, Harley Track, put your uh, high beam on high. Let me take a look at it. Alrighty. Let me get out of this curve here. Oh, wait, let me look at your head. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> well, that's bright, man. I love it. That's bright. Got something right here. Looks like a root. Yep. All right, guys and gals and uh, people that, that are watching, we just got to his, our brother's house there just sitting around and got a little introductions in for everybody we're heading on out to Buster's place now to get us a burger we're gonna go back uh, the way we came up just to show uh, Harley Trek uh, the Nissan Motor Manufacturing Company where they produce uh, uh, cars and trucks uh, I think they do the uh, Ultima and I, uh, I think they still do the truck and I think they do a van line but I'm not sure I meant to look at that up last night so I could be very informative and knowledgeable about the plant, but well, they've uh, always done no. the Altima up here, haven't they? I believe so. I believe so. Um, I haven't followed it that much now. I know they have a battery uh, manufacturing thing here for the Nissan Leaf, so okay. they may produce a Leaf up here. But I'm not. Uh, but I am not certain. Don't quote me on that. I because, shan't because I do not know for certain. So we shall. I guess I'll do the research after I post this video up and see if I'm right or wrong. Anybody want to bet? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to take it. Nah, me either. <laughs> me neither. I think Steve's, uh, Steve Arsenal back there, I think he's got a cool looking scooter. I like that Vespa style. Of, I think of it is. It is sharp, sharp, sharp. Yeah, classic, classic lines and everything else. and It'll we get up and go now. Talking about get up and scoot, that little thing will go. Of course, he really makes me mad when he can just, you know, just turn it around and pick it up and put it wherever he wants to. <laughs> There's know? a plus to that. Yeah, there is a plus to that. Of course, Mark, God God bless him, he has to, when he parks and stuff, he has to make sure to try to go on a downward range because he hasn't put a reverse or anything on it. You should have seen, seen his free come, Holly Drake. We uh, uh, pushed it back in the yard and put it up and turned it around and stuff like that so he could back it in there so you'd have room to park. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it fell off the driveway and scratched the driveway and all that stuff because it was sitting so low. It was Keystone Cops, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Well, at least there's two places on my driveway where it scratched it, but they're clean places. So now i got to do the rest of the driveway before the 4th of July celebration crap. So it's like, oh, okay, got a bump there. So it's like, well, all righty then. That's fine. I'm going to get in the aid lane. All right, we're good, boys and girls. Da, 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 da. Now, now, Harley Trek, you know, you know we have got to get a picture of the two white bikes together. We've got to. Uh, oh, of course. We have got to. Here's the daddy bike. And here's the child of the nephew that was, de <laughs> that was, uh, de defamilicated or something like that. So, yeah. But, uh, like you said, when we was at the Hootenanny, man, I mean... 
uh, this scooter will do what it needs to do. Oh yeah, all day long it will. Yes, it will. It'll get up and go. A lot of people, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but a lot of people have watched my videos and they decided to, let's not do nothing stupid, thank you very yeah. much, to uh, get them a Bergman because of the ease of, ooh, got a, may have a little bump up here too, guys. That's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. And um, so I probably sold about 10 or 15 of these bad boys over the years. Suzuki needs to give you a commission. You would think so. <laughs> you, would th you know, maybe a sticker, you know, free oil change or something. I don't know. Right. You know, that'd be nice. But, uh... That, that scoot is deceptively large. Yes. I, it looks... I mean, until you see it in person, mm -hmm. stand next to it, I mean... That thing's a beast. Yeah, it's, it, it is. You're right. It is deceptively large. It is no. It is no Vespa. Yeah. No, um, it's not. Sorry, Steve. No, it's fine, man. He can he can store about a, a year's worth of groceries. <laughs> I know. First time I saw him pull that seat off, I'm going to go. So that's where you had the bodies. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when y'all were going up, we was going in uh, North Carolina and stuff. Oh, yeah, I texted the cop up there. He's the one that's got the weed. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> After I lost my license and stuff. Yeah, he's the one that's got the weed. Just look under his seat. Oh, okay, thanks. But it, you're right, it is really deceptive because when you first hear the name Scooter, you know, you're thinking of these uh, real... I'm thinking of my, my best. Well, I mean, no, like the 50cc uh, scoots. Yeah, the liquor uh, shell. Yeah, tank. there you go. Yeah, that's what I... That's the name. I think you're the first one that ever said that. I just it just busted me out laughing. <laughs> Liquor sickle. We'll go. Oh, uh, that's the uh, DUI. You can ride to work on one of those things. Yep. Because oh, they really don't care if you live or die, just as long as you're not killing anybody else. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Well, as, as long as it's under 50 cc, you don't have to have a motorcycle license, and it doesn't have to have tags. Yeah, exactly right. But you can. But uh, can you ride on the sidewalks with those? Uh, no. Oh, so they, you're... They, they do frown on that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, oh okay. Yeah, but when you first said that, oh, I just, just <laughs> busted a gut, man. I've never heard that before, and I thought that was great. A liquor sickle. Hey, there, there, there are several that run around my neck of the woods. Oh, really? And, yeah. And, uh, you know, they're not kids riding them. And, you know, they, they, they could be for economic Right, right. Reasons and uh, what have you. But the first thing you assume is, yep, you got one too many DUIs there, didn't you, pal? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a guy that lives uh, in my son's neighborhood that's got he's got one that's smaller than mine. And the only time I see him riding it is when he's going to the beer store to pick up a six-pack. <laughs> there you go. He, he throws it in the floorboards, and then he's then he's on his way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but Steve was right. I mean, I've, got, I've gotten uh, 10 two-liter Cokes under the seat. Good gravy. I mean, I've, you can put uh, two full face helmets. Um, I mean, look at all the stuff I brought to the hood nanny. Of course, I use those. These are my everyday travel bags. Now, I use those big uh, GV 46 liter going up to North Carolina because I I brought three helmets. I brought right. yeah, you know, I brought the signing helmet, this helmet that I'm using now, and my white helmet because that white helmet was my vlogging helmet, and um, then I could uh, record everybody on the scene with that. So. But and then the tea bag I had on the back seat where Sergeant Alf is, but it it holds a lot of stuff now. I mean, I could pretty much haul anything really, except for lumber. That gets a little rough. <laughs> you know, that red flag is sticking out back there, 20 foot. But you know, that's, yeah, sort of that sort of puts a damper on your riding pleasure. But you can pretty much uh, haul anything in this thing. And I've got that uh, mesh. Uh, cargo netting too in one of the bags back there so if I have to put something on the back seat I can uh, it's pretty rough up here guys watch that but I, I love it I mean this is this is what I choose to ride I mean I could have got a Harley or a Goldwing or whatever but you know you could have bought anything you wanted yeah. to and I it's, chose this it's no cheaper than a quote unquote traditional motorcycle mm -hmm. exactly right I mean, I, I fell upon this deal. A guy, uh, another YouTube blogger named Gentleman's Nine, he rides a Bergman. He's got, also got a Triumph. Uh, 
Yeah, I've heard of him. I think I'm subscribed to him as well. He doesn't he doesn't put out a ton of videos. Well, he's doing mostly the polar bear rides because he's doing, and we're taking a left up here, guys. Well, let's just stay in this lane. And I uh, hope everybody makes it through this light. If not, we'll just pull so up. So far, so good. All right. I think we got it. All right. And uh, so he told me about this bike that was on sale uh, a couple of years, well, back in 2014. And this was uh, in Indianapolis. Now, this is a 2012. I bought it new in 2014. But these lists new for like 10 grand. Good enough. Because this is an executive model. Duh, 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 duh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it was a leftover. Uh, we're going to... Everybody make it? it? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're taking it. Yeah, right. they're taking it. All right. And um, so I bought it for uh, sixty two ninety nine. That's brilliant. But I had to, um, I used my brother's trailer, Jim. He had a trailer back there, and I hooked it up to my truck. And Mark, he rode with me up to Indianapolis, and we bought it and picked it up and brought it back. Wow. Because all the stuff that I had on ALF, my custom seat, the side bags, and everything else, would fit on a 20 12, but not on a 2013 because it oh. made a, a significant design change. Changed the frame on you. Yeah, exactly right. Everything was changed. It's, uh, but So I switched everything of that over. And, and you then, have to keep all your accessories and have to buy new. Exactly right. And so I just put the old stuff on the black bike and I sold it to uh, 1954 Shadow. Um, and we made arrangements for uh, shipping and everything else. So everything worked out well. That was brilliant. Yeah, so that was a good, so that was a good deal, and the difference between this one and the stock, this has a power windscreen, power mirrors. Yeah, I use those power mirrors quite often when I filter. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, and it's got uh, anti-lock brakes and a uh, chrome muffler guard, and that's basically it. But I mean, it, like I said, you know, like I said before, it does exactly what I want it to do. Oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, I've, I've ridden it from here to Michigan, from here to North Carolina, and back. So, it's been a great, great bike. And it has a, a thumb shifter if you want to go manual. Why would you? Unless you, you know, <laughs> go on the Dragon or something and you want to stay in one. It's a gear ratio range, basically. Yeah. But uh, it has six, six ratio ranges on it. So, if you're going like 60 miles an hour, you know you're going to be cruising. You just put it in manual, put it up in six gear, and the RPMs drop about 500, yeah. just like an overdrive. And you can get, uh, I've gotten about 52, maybe, 52 miles a gallon. That's pretty darn good. You know, with the five-speed, with the six-speed overdrive. But yeah. uh, my usual mileage around town is about 42, 41, something like that. But it's a 650. It's just two cylinders, so. Yeah. But it gets it gets pretty good mileage. Steve, he gets six thousand eight hundred and twelve miles a tank, <laughs> <laughs> and and it, and he puts it in by the thimble full. <laughs> uh, exactly right. So it's like, uh, well, how much gas you got left? Uh, six days worth. No, no, no. How many miles? Oh, six thousand four hundred. Oh, shut up. <laughs> but I'm I'm real impressed with Steve's bike because I mean he hadn't got on it or anything yet but when he does if he has to hurry up and get on it son he flies like a bullet going through there being as light as it is and as quick as uh, the Vespa engine is and everything oh else. yeah power to weight is great on those things oh yeah yeah and he just flies like a bullet where's Steve <laughs> there he goes ah yeah. <laughs> oh, crap got somebody checking out Mark's track over here oh yeah they always do that's an attention getter for sure yes sir it most certainly is. We're going to get off at this exit, Mr. Harley track, and then back toward the left, and we'll be back on 41. Roger that. All right, maneuvering thrusters engaged. Slow to impulse. Hey, did I do that right? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> Dead on. All right, sir. You think I watch too many of your videos, man? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a stalker. Oh, man. As long as you're not the thumbs down stalker, then it's all right. Oh, I get them too, man. I get them too. You got one that's consistent. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got one that uh, just does it on videos that doesn't need to be thumbs down on. I've done, you know, PSAs and stuff and everything, and I get thumbs down on those. You know, talking about my sister-in-law's death and stuff like that, I get thumbs down on those going like, geez, Louise, you know? That's, there's just no accounting for taste. <laughs> is that what it is? I guess. Uh, I think more of no uh, accounting for cooth. Well, Oh, shoot. We didn't, that was Nissan back there, Mark. <laughs> Hello. I passed it. I think I passed it coming in. I think uh, I, got, I may have come in this. No, I don't know if I come in this way or not. That's what I get for jibber-jabber. And I should have said, well, that's the Nissan Wonder Manufacturing Plant. And I, oh, man. Well, this ought to show up good on video. What a schmuck. 